Hello everyone. Welcome back to Trident Training Academy, Bangalore. We have developed an electric vehicle model. Today, we are going to explain the basics of electric vehicle with this model. Electric vehicles mainly consist of power electricals and battery model assembly. Power electricals replaces engine and transmission of internal combustion engines. Battery model assembly is used to store the electrical energy. Power electricals consist of onboard charger called as OBC, electronic power control unit called as EPCU, EPCU comprising of vehicle control unit VCU, low voltage DC DC converter LDC, and motor control unit MCU. There will be a high voltage junction block, drive motor and speed reducer. OBC is used to convert 220 voltage AC into 252-450 voltage DC during the normal AC charging. VCU oversees the operation of individual controllers including drive motor, climate control system, LDC, high voltage battery and brake control. LDC is used to convert 360 voltage DC into 12 voltage DC for auxiliary battery charging. MCU is used to control the drive motor. High voltage junction block functions as power distributor that connects the high voltage battery to power electrical components. Drive motor is three phase permanent magnet synchronous AC motor. It drives the wheels through speed reducer. Speed reducer is used to increase and deliver the traction force to the wheels. This is the lithium ion polymer battery. High voltage battery module assembly mainly consists of high voltage battery and to manage these batteries it consists of cell monitoring unit CMU, battery management unit BMU and power relay assembly. Let us look at the configuration of high voltage battery. High voltage battery consists of cells. This high voltage battery assembly consists of total 180 cells. Here one battery is having two cells and when these 15 batteries combine it becomes one battery module assembly. Two battery modules combined are called as one battery pack. Here there are three battery packs. This high voltage battery can store up to 360 voltage DC. Let us see in detail about cell monitoring unit or CMU. Here there are five CMUs. One, two, three, four and five. CMU measures the voltage of each cell and then performs the cell balancing. This is just to prevent any cell from being overcharged or over discharged. This is the battery management unit or BMU. This monitors the voltage and temperature of entire battery cells and it adjusts them based on the measured values. It also checks how much battery charge is remaining or state of charge and informs the driver of the vehicle how much charge is left. It also controls PRA. PRA is the power relay assembly. It consists of main relay positive, main relay negative, recharge relay, precharge resistor and current sensor. Main relay positive and negative for supplying and cutting off high voltage from high voltage battery. Precharge relay and precharge resistor are driven prior to the main relay positive to prevent inverter damage by high voltage in rush current during initial relay on status. Current sensors measure the amount of current that is flowing from the battery. EVs will be having two charging ports, AC charging and DC charging. AC charging can be done through portable AC charger which is provided along with the vehicle or through wall mounted AC charger. DC charging can be done at DC fast charging stations. 
when you connect the ac charger 220 voltage from the ac charger flows to the obc onboard charger onboard charger converts ac into dc and steps up the voltage it increases the voltage up to 250 to 450 voltage dc this high voltage dc flows from the obc to high voltage junction block from high voltage junction block it flows to the high voltage battery through positive and negative relays dc charging is done at fast charging stations during dc charging from dc power port 450 to 500 voltage flows to the high voltage junction block from high voltage junction block this high voltage flows to the high voltage battery through main relay positive and negative when we start ev ready light will glow in the cluster now this is in parking position in parking position electronic parking brake activator mechanically locks the parking gate and will not allow the wheels to rotate in all other positions like reverse neutral and drive it will be in disconnected condition in our position high voltage dc from high voltage battery flows through positive and negative main relays of pra to high voltage junction block from high voltage junction block this high voltage flows to mcu mcu converts high voltage dc into three phase ac voltage and flows to ev motor in n position ev motor will not get the voltage therefore wheels will not get the drive in d position dc high voltage from high voltage battery flows to the high voltage junction block through positive and negative relays of pra from high voltage junction block high voltage dc flows to the mcu mcu functions as inverter and converts dc into three phase ac this three phase ac goes to the drive motor and drives the wheel in forward direction when the driver presses the accelerator mcu communicates with the vcu to perform the optimal motor control based on the driving condition and increases the vehicle speed when driver put off the accelerator pedal and applies brake the rotary power of the wheels turns the drive motor and motor acts as a generator ev motor generates three phase ac voltage this three phase ac voltage flows to the mcu mcu converts three phase ac into dc this dc voltage flows to the high voltage junction block from high voltage junction block this dc voltage flows to high voltage battery through positive and negative main relays of pra and charges the high voltage battery the vehicle control unit vcu calculates the state of charge of high voltage battery and auxiliary battery if state of charge of auxiliary battery is less than 70% and state of charge of high voltage battery is more than 20% it sends the required power data to the ldc to charge the auxiliary battery then high voltage from the high voltage battery flows to the high voltage junction block through main relay positive and negative of pra from high voltage junction block high voltage flows to the ldc ldc converts 360 voltage dc into 12 voltage dc and this 12 voltage flows to the auxiliary battery and charges the battery this is the safety plug this is located below the rear seats this is used to cut off the high voltage from the battery during the maintenance and repair this is the service interlock connector it is placed in the pe compartment if the interlock connector is removed the bms prevents the operation of the main relay and cuts off the high voltage from battery it is given to disconnect the high voltage during the emergency this ready indication illuminates when the vehicle is ready upon startup this indication shows current battery level of high voltage battery this is the ev service lamp whenever any malfunction in the ev system 
this light glows. This is the low high voltage battery warning. This illuminates when the state of charge of high voltage battery is less than 18%. This is the power down indication. Whenever the state of charge of high voltage battery is less than 5%, this indication glows. This displays the regeneration level in blue. This is the drive power gauge and displays during the acceleration. When we connect the vehicle to AC or DC charging, this charging indication will glow in the cluster. I hope this video is easy to understand the basics of electric vehicle. Thank you.